What's up, guys? This is Shay. And this is Matt. And this is the Building Small Business Podcast. That was about the fourth time we had to do that intro. <laughs> yeah, but now we're live. We're going into it. So okay. today we're here with Tara, and we're going to let her talk a little bit about the business that she uh, owns and operates out of this awesome location. Um, my name is Tara, and I um, am the owner and solo esthetician at Wonderless Aesthetics Skincare Studio. Um, I'm located at 219 Woodland Avenue. I'm right across from Missy's Pies, next to Renata's, uh, downtown Lexington. Awesome. So what all do you do here? Um, I do facials, dermaplaning, um, any skincare. Um, I'm an acne specialist. Even do, like, lash lifts, tinning, stuff like that. So everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's a lot. Do all the things. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, and, and how long have you been in this location? Um, I've been here since September of last year. Okay. So, again, opening things up in the pandemic. Love it. Yeah, it was a little stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, though. It's a bold, like, you you believed in it enough to start it. I love yes. that. Yeah. Did you have another location before here? Yes. Um, I opened in June, so two weeks after we were allowed to start working again, I opened up um, initially at a uh, salon suite, so I had a little room, and I just did, like, a month-to-month -month there because I just didn't know how things were going to go. And then just a couple months later, I opened my storefront here. So you're here started in June, came here in September. Mm -hmm. yep. What got you into this business? Um, so I actually worked in healthcare for a long time um, and I was halfway done with nursing school and got kind of burnt out. Um, so I just wanted a normal nine to five um, and I ended up at UK plastic surgery. Um, so I kind of learned about skin and everything like that, helping people feel good about themselves. And it was just a a different way for me to care for other people in a way that I didn't take at home, if that makes sense. So, like, I absolutely loved it, and just a little while after that, I went to school. So. How okay. long is school for something like this? Um, it was about 10 months, and then I also went up to Philadelphia for laser training and everything, because um, I thought I wanted to do medical, and that's actually, I was in medical aesthetics before I opened on my own. Um, okay, nice. So, how long were you planning on being a nurse like how, how much school did you actually go through before you were like whoa um I was a year in okay yeah. I, I mean I think yep, that's it so. that's a good story in and of itself just <laughs> yes. like realizing that that wasn't your thing and going in, in completely making a 180 well not not necessarily a 180 you're still yeah. helping people but yeah especially yeah. after like 12 years in healthcare like it was just like that was what I was gonna do um and <laughs> being <laughs> like halfway through it's like well I guess <laughs> change it up a little bit well you got to figure it out sometime <laughs> is this the first business that you've owned like on your own yeah, yeah. it is yeah. are you liking it so far oh i love it yeah what's your favorite thing about like owning your own business um i like being able to um provide for my clients like something that's going to be better for them so like if you work for a bigger company or anything like that it's kind of about i guess it's just different i feel like it's just me i can choose what i'm going to offer them what services I'm going to offer, um, scheduling, things like that. I just, it's all on me, what I want to do. And so when you first started, you, you didn't have any clients, right? You just, you just walk in and nope. there's people filling your, filling your office with business. Zero. How did you start to, to get the word out? Did, was it just word of mouth? Like how did, how did that go about? Um, I'm all word of mouth. Um, so at the very beginning, like where I used to work um, in a different town, like I didn't even have any clients that were in Lexington, anything like that. So I was starting off completely from zero. Um, so I just did like posting on my like Facebook. I made a Facebook and an Instagram for my business um, and just people were sharing. So I got just a couple clients from that and then it just grew from there. Like they referred someone and the person they referred referred somebody else like I've had a couple of stragglers that have like searched me on Google and found me that way, but almost everybody's referred by somebody else. So it's all your like basically advertising done just through social media and yeah. word of mouth and you say you don't have to yeah. do anything else like print or newspaper or commercials? No, I don't do any of that. I just Facebook, Instagram. It makes it easy for you then. Oh yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> I like the I like the easy like the yeah. friend sending you business thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a good people to work with. Yeah, they work for me. <laughs> all my clients, they they work for me. Heck so. yeah. Um do you, so do you have anything as far as goals to do any further advertising to bring in more business? Or are you just, you're happy with the, the organic growth that you have? No, I love the growth that I'm having now. Um, like I'm booking out, like I'm booked for this week, for next week. I only have a couple of spots the following week. 
Um, so I, if I was to put anything, like, I don't think I'd be. You don't think you can handle it? It's just it? Yeah. me. So, like. <laughs> I, I was about I to ask. So it is just you that works here? Yeah, it's just me. Yeah. Do you yeah. ever have plans to, like, grow and hire anybody else? Or do you want to keep it like a solo shop? Uh, I want to keep it solo. It's a lot simpler that way. Only one person to manage that way. Yeah, <laughs> it's just me. I can't wait for our like twelve month check in, and she's like, "Well, I have three employees, yeah. and I've, got, I've got all this overhead." She's and calling she's like, us like, "Hey guys, can you find me a bigger spot?" Yeah, yeah. she's over there in that gigantic building across yeah. the street. That's how it, that's how it all, like everybody says like, "Oh, I think I'm gonna just stay small," and then before you know it, you're like, "I need some help." Yeah, this sucks. I mean, like, sucks in a good way. Like you're busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, you're happy where you're at as far as like growth and everything. Whenever you made this initial pivot to go towards owning your own business and towards running this, and not, you didn't have a single client, well, you must have had some faith in yourself yeah. or faith in the business okay. or the product or whatever it is. Yeah. Whenever you started to find your location and everything else, was there anything that said, don't do this? Or was everything that you were like, you were just all in? Didn't matter what happened. I was all in. Um, I think literally everybody thought I was crazy. Um, but I had my husband's support and my family, like, but it's just like, even when I switched from healthcare to this, like, like, I, I think everybody was like, oh, what is she doing? But I feel like most people are like that when you try to start a business out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 Understandably so. I mean, there's benefits included with being at a hospital and, you know, all those things. Yeah, it's, it's stable. Like, it's, I mean, and I knew it, like, the back of my hand, like, I, but, it's like, you know, if your heart's not in it anymore, then you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. So. I've always told fr close friends, like if you're just for an example, if you're making $50,000 mm -hmm. and somebody's paying your health insurance and you find out that your health insurance is $1,500 a month, mm -hmm. you can either keep working. Like if you went out on your own, it would be $1,500 a month. Like you can keep working on your own or yeah. you can keep working for someone else. Yeah. But if you never try to branch off and go do your own thing, you're never going to truly have, you're, you're going to be 60 when you have financial freedom. Most likely, unless you make some investments here and there and you're good at saving money before you're really financially free, you're going to you're going to have to work for yeah. like until you've got re enough retirement to get out of there. Yeah, and I don't think I could ever go back now that I worked on my own. Like, Same. Absolutely I can't do not. it. <laughs> like I would just be thinking of, well, I would do this this way. Like, why are they doing it that way? Like, <laughs> yeah. So you're not a good nine to fiver. No. <laughs> I'm a horrible employee. <laughs> how old were you? How, how, lo how long did it? So I guess a year ago. Well. How long ago did you decide to start doing this business? Like, let's forget, like, the school part. How long ago was that? When, when I started, like, School. Um, for school, uh, that was in 2017 or 18, I think. And you were how old? Uh, I'm You're not supposed to ask her age. I'm 33, so I don't know. So it took, you, it took you until, <laughs> until you were, like, 30 yeah. to figure out that you weren't a good employee. Yes. I love that. Like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. I'm not showing up at yeah. nine every, well, like yeah. you can set your own schedule here, but obviously you said you wanted to be a nine to fiver, but if you're working for yourself, yeah. it doesn't feel like someone's yeah. hounding. Hey, you came in 10 minutes late today. It's like, you know what? Yep. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I slept in. And, and I dropped out of um, college a couple of times before I dropped out. Love it. I, yes. I did get my associate's degree though. Oh, darn. In art. Well, <laughs> bummer. <laughs> I mean, good for you. <laughs> So when you were, did you learn from someone on what you even had to do to get this started? Like, do you have a mentor or anything, or did you just kind of fly by the seat of your pants? I flew by the seat of my pants. Yeah. I just did a crap ton of research, like Facebook groups for estheticians and things like that, and just kind of see what I thought I wanted it to be like. But, I mean, initially, like, when we had gotten laid off last year at the med spa I was at, um, when I – got laid off it wasn't even my, in my head to go on my own and we were off for I don't know how long it was um March to June um and two weeks after I mean it was like a quick like all right well this is the time to do it I'm gonna do it and that's what happened so like it was never <laughs> <laughs> never in the plans but it all worked out oh yeah that's so much fun um so you're owning a business and you've been in this for a while now we're not we're not quite to a yeah. year of well i guess we're yeah. we're almost to june yeah next right? month yeah june so that'll be a year for you is a year what would you say like one what's one thing that you would tell another entrepreneur when they're starting a business um to start small like um 
I started super small. I had that little room in a salon suite. Like, so when I was in school, I got like a massage table. I got like a towel cabbie and a couple little things so that I could practice on family and stuff like that when I was in school. So I already had that stuff. And like, I went to the Dollar Tree and got a whole bunch of stuff. Like I was bare bones when I started, like super bare bones. And just as I started making money, then I started upgrading. I would add services, add training. So I learned and I was able to offer more things for people. Um, so like, you don't have to have everything completely perfect when you first start. Like I had hardly anything and I did fine. So. <laughs> awesome <laughs> so how long did it take you like i guess once you I guess you said you got laid off from the med spa mm -hmm. how long did it take you to actually get your personal business up and running from that point um it was i mean it was just a couple of weeks oh really it was that like, fast like from not planning to do this to planning a lease love it yes <laughs> yeah heck yeah man that's awesome a little crazy but yeah it's good <laughs> yeah <laughs> Do you have uh, a favorite thing about being your own boss? What's that? What's so owner business ownership, and you would tie that to like a gr what great feeling would you say you have? Um, just that, like, just being proud that I've come this far, I guess, and um, like, I'm just like I'm able to do whatever I want to do, like the hours, the freedom, like if you know I want to go somewhere, I don't have to ask somebody. Can I have some time off and then say, oh, no, you can't like <laughs> like I just block off my schedule and I go. Nice. So <laughs> f so flexibility. Yeah. Being your own boss, I guess, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good deal. We're going to take a break. And uh, here's a word from today's show sponsor. This podcast has been brought to you by Wonderless Aesthetics. Located at 219 Woodland Avenue. Come by and get your face fixed. All right, we're back. Uh, so let's talk a, bit, a little bit about your actual business. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say is like your most popular service that someone comes in for? Um, dermaplaning is my most popular, especially with the dermaplaning with the hydrogelly masks. What does any of that mean? Um, yeah, <laughs> define dermaplaning, please. Uh, dermaplaning is um, a form of exfoliation where I actually remove the top layer of your skin, the dead skin and peach fuzz. Whoa. So you have like Super nice glow. Your makeup applies really beautifully. Matt was um, just saying yesterday his yeah. foundation wasn't going on very smoothly. Yeah, I think I think, I think we're gonna have to get some <laughs> maybe not some dermaplaning today, but we're gonna get something today <laughs> to fix my face. Yeah. <laughs> so is that so? That's what you're pretty much known for. Yeah, is the dermaplaning is my my number one thing. Um, but coming up really fast is um, I do a hydroglow facial. Um, which is um, a lot of people know like the hydrofacial. It's similar to that. I just got it a month ago and it's going crazy. So awesome. Can you, yeah. can you give us a 10 second definition of that? It's, <laughs> can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What's it's the language a, of origin? It's a form of exfoliation, exfoliation as well. Um, but it's almost like an, an enema for your face. Like it flushes <laughs> everything out. So all your blockheads, all like any, um, like all your pores, it cleans everything out. No shit. Yes. How does that work? Yeah. So like, does it come? And it goes into a jar so that at the end you can kind of shake the little jar and can see Can you do that on that, that today? I don't think I want to see that. That's <laughs> disgusting. It is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's nasty, but you're like, oh, my I God. I feel like I would do face. the treatment, but I wouldn't want to see the results. No, yeah. you got to see it. Yeah, everybody uh. wants to see it. Everybody wants to see the jar at the end. Oh. Especially, and also. <laughs> Good God, dude. And when I Dharma plane, I put it on a little napkin so you can see all the crap that I got off your face on the napkin, too. So. Oh, man. Yeah, do we nice. look like we need Dharma planing? Like, can you tell looking at Don't us if we need it? Don't ask her that. No. <laughs> No, this is this is not a good not a good corner of the room to be looking in. <laughs> She's like, you guys actually both look like yeah. shit. So, no. I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything, but he's like, sell me your product now. <laughs> well, your face is needs work. Could use some work. Um, sorry, we're off track here. It sounds awesome. I don't know what I signed up for today. Yeah, but this should be fun. So, do you have like a book like? Do you have like a booklet of like every kind of service you offer? Are you able to rattle them all off just in case somebody listening may may not know um, and they say, "Oh, I, I need to come in for that." I have I have online booking. Okay. Um, so my website's www.wonderlessesthetics.com. Um, yeah. But I have so I do um, facials, dermaplaning, microdermabrasion, my hydroglow facial. Um, I do lash lifts, lash tints, um, brow tints. I do facial waxing. 
That's a lot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And I'm an acne specialist, so anybody that's having issues, especially right now during COVID and masks and stuff, mask me, um, I'm able to really, really help with that too. So is like, is there like new stuff, like trends that come up in the industry often and you go learn them and then are able to offer them mm-hmm. to the public? Like yeah, so Lash Lifts was one, so I added that on recently. Um, the Hydro Glow is one, rad- added that on recently. Um, the Hydro Jelly Mask, those have re- been really big. Um, so yeah, I kind of watch you know, what, what everybody's wanting and I try to add that on. And a lot of it is um, things that my client, my clients have asked for, like, are you ever going to do this? Are you ever going to do that? And then I research it and then I bring it on. That's awesome that you're able to just, you can pretty much just scroll through like direct Instagram feedback. and figure out what you need to start offering. Yeah. Yep. I love that you can, it's direct, it's straight from the consumer to you, yeah. to your ear. I like that. Um, do you have a, is there any service that you can't really do on yourself that you're like, damn it, I wish I could do that? Um, yeah, dermaplaning. I've cut myself. I don't know how many times because I use a scalpel to do it. Do you have to go to like the homies? I'm sure you got friends in this yeah. business. Okay. Yeah, I you're do. like, hey, Karen. I actually have an appointment I tomorrow. A- <laughs> <laughs> so-, <laughs> so you tried to use a scalpel on your face yourself? Yes. <laughs> well, during the shutdown, like, you know, you got to do what you got to do. We all did crazy <laughs> stuff. I'd end up like a damn Sweeney Todd uh, <laughs> yeah. client if I did that. Yeah, the angles are a lot up. different when you're trying to do it to yourself. No kidding. Yeah, better you than me on that, that one. That was frightening. Yeah. I couldn't do that. <laughs> um, well, I guess now is as good a time as any to, <clears throat> to tell us what we learned here. So I think I would go with start small. And mm-hmm. maybe, I mean, it, it could be called frugal or it could be called being smart when you have a small space to fill. But I, yeah, think, that's, I, I think that's brilliant. I went into no debt. Everything was cash load. Like from. That's the way to do it. This. The business supported itself. Yeah, it support. It's always like always supported. Even at the beginning, like within one like one week, I paid for my deposit, and then like the next like I, like within a month, probably six weeks, like everything was good. So, you gotta love that. That's awesome. Yeah. So I did not believe in, especially with right now with COVID, like going into debt for something that I didn't know was gonna be okay. Like I do not want to do that. So everything and any, anything that I upgrade for here like i don't do it on credit i just save up and then i buy it yeah i'm kind of the same way with everything i do so for me i think the coolest part of what you said earlier was you got laid off from your other job and then it Mm -hmm. wasn't two weeks and you had your own business up running and going and i mean that hustle is awesome and then that drive to just take that chance is uh it's super cool it's uh, inspiring yeah Yeah, that takes that takes guts to just be like all right (laughs) Or I'm a little Screw it. <laughs> in the head. <laughs> no, that's that's what it takes to start a business. Sometimes. Anybody self-employed is a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, certainly. Um, so I guess five burning questions. We're ready to roll. You want to take the first one or me? I'll take the first one. All right. All right. Number one, what's one thing when starting your own business that you would change or do differently? Um, I wish I would have started more of a <clears throat> a social media, like had more social media at the beginning or even like before I even started this, like. I didn't really talk a lot about what I was doing like before I started my own business. So people knew where I worked, but I didn't really like talk about it a lot. And now like, I feel like I just like I'm slamming it in everybody's face, but like, I wish I would have kind of started a little bit more. We say a lot, like don't be a secret, whatever your uh, job is, whatever your job is. Let people know what you're doing because they'll they'll never know to book you if they don't know what you're doing. So do you think you got it pretty well on track now? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot of work, but I'm getting better at it. I never, um, I'm not very tech savvy or anything like that. I'm just learning as I go, Um, but I am getting better at it. (laughs) Do you have like a schedule for posting that you do, or you just kind of do it after each client or Um, on the fly? It's it's random. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I I wish I could be that organized. I I want to do that at some point, but I I do the same thing. We try to have a schedule, and it's hard to stick to it. Yeah, it is so tough. (laughs) Yeah. I'll put something on a schedule and then find it like a week later and be like, damn. Well, we'll move that to that. the next week. Didn't do that at all. <laughs> didn't post that. Made it. Made it. Created yeah. the content. Did not post it. Yeah. So second question, what's your favorite hobby? Um, I like hiking, anything outdoors. Um, playing with my kids, my dogs, my cats, my husband. <laughs> what kind of dogs do you have? Um, I have a... <clears throat> Sorry. She's got some awesome dogs. I'm not going to say <laughs> I'm not going to let her answer, but she's got some cool dogs. Um, I have a full-blooded Husky. I have a full-blooded German Shepherd and then a half German Shepherd, half Husky. You got some wild dogs. And yeah. I have two long-haired <laughs> yeah. cats, so we are full house. Yeah. <laughs> How many? 
cats? Two cats. So oh, yeah, there's that's five, five, five. That's a that's a lot of food. Fluffers. And poop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That keep you company, though, for sure. <laughs> yep. uh, number three, what's your favorite restaurant? Um, I really like Joe Bologna's and Poppy's. Never been to either one of those. Love that. Oh, oh my Joe gosh, Bologna's you have so good. to. We now almost Poppy's, went the other day, and I think it was closed. Poppy's, tell us. Uh, sorry. Sorry to whoever Poppy's is. I'm sorry. Tell us more about it because I, I've heard the name, but I cannot place where it's at. So, um, you know, the old rallies on Harrodsburg Road. It's that little Mexican restaurant that just yes. opened up there that has all the little fairy lights on it. So they have that one, um, but they just opened up um, at Palomar, the Palomar Fountains or something like that on the corner of uh, Harrodsburg and Man of War. Yep. So that new little, so they have like a restaurant, restaurant there now too. Awesome. Okay. We'll have to try we that. Some they places are to so try. good. It's like legit. I stuff. think I've only ever been to like one restaurant that people mention when we're on here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but Joe Bologna is, I mean, we've been going there my yeah, whole life. It's, it's a solid so spot. good. Yeah, I'll check it out. So you're, you're a Lexington lifer then? Yes. Not getting out? Never moving? Uh, <laughs> that wasn't one of our five burning questions. So yeah. <laughs> Are you from Lexington? Yes. Okay. Yeah, born and raised. Yeah. And what's, what's a musical artist? This is question number four that no one would expect that you would listen to? I don't know. Um, I like, like, 90s alternative and rock. Um, but I don't know of any that no one knows Just about. nothing off the wall? No. no, I mean, like, you don't have, it doesn't have to be, like, an unheard of artist. It could be, no. like. I really love Blink-182. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, like, Coheed and, um. I'm super big Foo Fighters, but all that's like just normal. Like I feel like you just <laughs> if you I didn't tell us like if you didn't tell us how too. old you were earlier, you just told us how old you <laughs> <I> were. <know. laughs> that's everybody in here, by the yes. way, except for Shay. He's yeah. a he's a baby. Yeah. Uh, last one. If you read, what's your uh, favorite business book? Um, I have a huge stack of books to read Same. about business that I have not gotten really started on but if you're not a big reader just say it no i am <laughs> okay. i just don't have time um i am wanting to read profit first i don't remember the, the i have that the one author, i've made it to the first 10 pages i think that's where i'm at mm -hmm. um i but can see the dude's <laughs> name i have the book myself <laughs> but yeah, I uh i am big dave ramsey um so i've read all that like in the past but I, that connects with business so those i have read I love it. Well, yeah. do you want to tell people where to find you? Instagram tags, hey, Facebook, whatever, whatever your thing is. Yes, uh, Facebook. It's just Wonderless Aesthetics. Um, Instagram is Wonderless Aesthetics K Y, um, and then my website's www.wonderlessaesthetics.com, um, and then you can also text me uh, to book or anything like that. My cell is eight five nine five three nine one two eight four. You are very brave for putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Cut that out if you want to. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> no, that's all right. <laughs> it's on all the social media stuff. Yeah, so okay. Fine. Fair enough. Well, it's we appreciate you coming on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank absolutely. You. It was awesome meeting you. It's 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 nice in here, and I love the location. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's my baby. Good deal. This well, great. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is the Building Small Business Podcast. This is Shay. And I'm Matt. Move